Thank you for tuning in to Nose and Around. I'm your host, Megan Bishop. Today we will look at several health facilities in Brunswick County and the surrounding areas. We will have Brunswick Physical Therapy, Family First Health Center, and McLeod Seacoast. Stay with us and we'll be right back. Welcome our first guest on the show today, Scott and Mary Francis from Brunswick, Brunswick Physical Therapy. Thank you so much for being on our show today. Thank you. Thank you for having us. Let's start with you, Mary Francis. How did you get involved with Brunswick Physical Therapy? Well, um, Brunswick Physical Therapy Associates is a division of Carolina Rehabilitation, and I, we were working locally, and then um, Scott and I um, decided to open up a division here okay. under Carolina Rehabilitation. So we're co-owners of okay. Brunswick Physical Therapy okay. and we opened in Schlott in August 2004. Okay. How long have you been in physical therapy? I've been a therapist for 22 years. And what about so. you Scott? I've been a therapist for 24 years and uh, started work in England for five years mm -hmm. and then came over to uh, the US then and, and have worked in all areas of physical therapy. Wow, so you have been in the field for quite some time. That's yes. wonderful. Yes. You should be pros by now, right? Yes. <laughs> yes. yes. So tell me a little bit about um, physical therapy, Brunswick Physical Therapy and the background behind that company. Well, we first opened in Shalote, mm -hmm. um, providing outpatient physical therapy and then um, realized there was a need in more areas in the county. So then we opened uh, another clinic in Southport and then supply and then a couple years later in Sunset. So we provide physical therapy services around the county. Wow. Um, so you basically the, cover Brunswick County? Yes. Yeah, our aim was to be within about 15 minutes of most residents mm -hmm. within the county so mm -hmm. it was very convenient for them after surgeries and, right. and when people are in pain and so forth they can just get there very quickly. And as staff members you move around so you all travel to those different locations, is that right? Yes, we have staff in each location and right. then we do a lot of traveling and okay. management of it and okay. providing some of the specialty services. That's nice that you yeah. were and able we, to travel yeah. around Brunswick County. Yeah, and we also expanded our services into aquatic therapy and also Mary's headed up uh, expansion into the treatment of children with special wow. needs in the community. Yeah. And you work with one of the local schools here in Brunswick County, is that right? I do. We're a contracted provider with Four Kids Only, which is mm -hmm. a developmental day center, and that's a great relationship. We provide mm -hmm. services on site for children that normally would not receive them. Wow. In addition, I do treat in some of the other clinics as well. Some mm -hmm. of our other therapists do. That's very nice. So. And you're getting ready to open a new location, is that right? Yes. Tell us where that will be located. Please. We're very excited about it. We've been in Southport for a long time, mm -hmm. uh, for the, about 10 years, okay. but um, we're about to open a clinic which is just outside of the entrance for St. James, okay. in St. James Plaza. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And um, that's going to be 3,000 square feet, and it's going to be a brand new facility, mm -hmm. so we're really excited about that. That's going to yeah. offer a lot of uh, new services, mm -hmm. lots of extra space, and uh, That'll be very exciting. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Tell us some of the services that um, Brunswick Physical Therapy can offer to your clients. Well, we um, treat all ages, like we said, from infancy to um, geriatric, all the way through, and all diagnoses. Mm -hmm. We um, people have pain, people are post-operative, before surgery, special conditions like after a stroke, mm -hmm. um, just for falls and balance, vertigo, um, just anything, just decreased strength. Um, impingement, from mm -hmm. frozen shoulder, that kind of thing. Pretty much after all these years, we've seen all yeah. types of A little bit of everything. Uh, things yeah. that mm -hmm. people need to go for therapy for. And uh, you know, we really call on that experience in trying mm -hmm. to develop new programs out there um, and offer new services. And that's why we developed the pool program and, and, and other unique programs going forward. And with yeah. the high schools around here in Brunswick County, do you do anything with sports? Um, do you treat athletes? We, yes, we have athletes come through that are referred to us for, from the high schools and some mm -hmm. from the college okay. also. That's nice. I think a lot of people, a lot of our athletes in our schools are looking for that in Brunswick yes. County and that's nice. That's something I'm always looking for too as well. Yes, and, and we do have after school hours which helps okay. a lot. Oh, that sometimes. is nice. Very nice. Scott, if I was a client of yours at Brunswick Physical Therapy, if I'm walking in the door, what are the steps that you would take as, as your client? Um, initially, we're going to do complete a comprehensive evaluation of the patient, looking at things that might include range of motion, mm -hmm. strength, balance, um, taking all sorts of measurements with respect to their pain level and how it impairs their function. Um, we're then going to set some clear goals with the patient working together on what our plan of care is going to be going forward, set some time frames on how many times a week uh, we plan on seeing them that okay. week, 
and um, having a clear objective when they're next going to be reviewed by the physician and what our plan mm -hmm. is going forward. Okay, so very, mm -hmm. an extensive plan, I yeah, guess. and that's ongoing. Yes. Every time someone's coming in, we're looking at that, reassessing where are we mm -hmm. on that road to recovery. That's wonderful. Do changes mm -hmm. need to be made and so on. Mm -hmm. Yes. I know you talked about um, treating children, which I know yes. um, I don't think everybody does in Brunswick County, some yes. of the physical therapies. Um, I'm not aware of that. So I think that sets you aside. But yes. what are some other things that sets you aside from other um, health facilities in Brunswick County? Well, in addition to the pediatrics, definitely the aquatic therapy that we okay. provide. And we do that at the Dynagore Aquatic and Fitness Center. And we have filmed there before, so everybody should be, our viewers should be aware of where that yes. is. Yes, and we have been doing that since they opened okay. we, and we were the only physical therapy provider that goes there and that's if it's appropriate it's a part of their plan it's just a good way to enhance um, function some ways and use the properties of water mm -hmm. to help them get what they need because each plan is individualized and customized and some people use it at the beginning and some people at the end and um, there's a lot of great benefits to being in the water okay. so we like to include that and we have staff that travels there for okay. that two afternoons a week Oh, wow. Okay. Are there certain exercises that you do with every client in the water or just depending on what their ailment yeah. may be or things like that? It's all very individualized. Some okay. things are um, standard, some of the things, but it's all very individualized to what they need. We use okay. the therapy pool as well mm -hmm. as the deep water to um, achieve their goals or to help them get better. So, Approximately how many clients do you think you have right now? Hundreds, maybe? Oh, yeah. Hundreds, probably a thousand a month. Right. Wow. Um, coming through, you know, all not new, but those mm -hmm. are the, the numbers. Mm -hmm. But we've steadily grown since we've opened, and mm -hmm. I think that providing that one on one care, individualizing the quality, and the people yes. know their therapists care about them mm -hmm. um, really helps yes. us with retention and, you know, word of mouth. Wow. And one so. thing we stress to people when they come is that they really take their time. Mm -hmm. They're taking the time to come and see us, and um, that they're taking their time and really. Um, getting everything out mm -hmm. of it and, and one thing in healthcare is not to rush and right. uh, take your time and really be clear on why you're there and uh, try to fix clear. the problem yeah yes. right. yeah right yeah. well um, I know we've talked about the location in Shalote um, I believe it's beside Highway 55 yes mm -hmm. um, and we've talked about other the other locations in Brunswick County but share with us your contact information if somebody was interested or needed your help um, your telephone number and your address please um, our main office in Shiloh would be the one to contact and that is uh, 4501 Suite 5 North Main Street Shiloh okay. and the phone number is 910-755-5863 mm -hmm. or our website is okay. www.carolinarehabilitation.com and you just click on the Brunswick County Division it has all our contact information as well as bios of all the therapists. Wonderful. And um, if you have any other questions and they can't get a hold of you, they can always contact us at the chamber and we can point you in That's the right, right. direction. Um, so I thank you very much, Scott and Mary Francis, for being on our show today. Thank you. Thank you very much. We'll be right back. I'd like to welcome our second guest on the show today. We have Dr. Megan, Dr. Monique, and Dr. Brent from Family First. Thank you for being on my show today. Thank you for, Thank having, you for us. having us. Let's start with you, Dr. Megan. How long have you been at Family First and what's your title? My name is Dr. Megan Powell and I opened Family First in March of 1999. So oh, wow. we've been here serving Brunswick County for over 16 years. Awesome. Yeah. What about you, Dr. Monique? I have an interesting story. I was actually a patient at Family First Health okay. Center when I was in high school, um, oh. about 10 years ago. Uh -huh. And um, I got inspired to be a chiropractor while at the office. Uh -huh. And so um, through their guidance, I went to chiropractic school after graduating from UNCW. And um, the opportunity was just at the right place at the right time for uh -huh. me to come back and um, be a part of Brunswick County and help the, the, the community. Wow at my hometown. And what about you? <laughs> and uh, I've been in practice for 18 years. I've been down helping Dr. Megan and, and Family mm -hmm. First for the last two years. Okay. okay. And do you have other staff members as, long, as well as y'all? We do. We have two full-time massage therapists, um, Josh Robinson and Casey Robinson. They're actually a husband and wife team, okay. which is really neat. Yes. But we have, offer them male and female mm -hmm. therapists, which a lot of people have a preference. We also have three full-time kind of assistants in the office. Mm -hmm. um, Heather Holden has been with us for over 13 years. Maria has been with us over 10 years. Wow. 
and uh, Mary just got married. Mary is our yeah, newest Mary member. Just got Mary just got married. <laughs> she's the newest member to our team, and she's been with us a couple months. Wow, so you yeah. have some longtime employees. Yes, That's yes. awesome. Yeah. So for our viewers that don't know what Family First is, tell us a little bit about the background of Family First, and I'll ask you, Dr. Monique. Well, the background of Family First, um, we are a chiropractic office, mm -hmm. first and foremost. Um, yes, we do have massage therapy. Mm -hmm. We also help people with their nutrition. Um, most of all, you know, we're, we're wellness experts. You know, we want people to be well from the inside out, you know, through the chiropractic philosophy. Um, true healing and health really comes from above, down, inside out, meaning your brain down through your spinal cord, out mm -hmm. those nerves, all the cells, organs, tissues of the body. So at our office, we um, view health a lot differently than um, the medical profession in the sense that we look at what's, what's causing the issue from the inside out mm -hmm. and work on addressing that through nutrition, through chiropractic, through soft tissue, with massage, and any other um, for, mean, you know, forms that we have to, to help address what's going on with the body okay. um, without the use of drugs or surgery. Wow. So if I was a um, patient of NALS um, and I walked in the door, what would be the steps that I would take as your patient? And I'll open that up to any of you. So normally you would come in and do the standard and we would get the paperwork and we do a, a very thorough history to find out mm -hmm. where your past may have actually affected your today. Okay. And then we also go through a very specific exam looking for subluxations because that's what we primarily focus on in the office because that way we can take the stress off your nervous system and allow you to really express true health. Right. And then we'll take you, most people will need a set of x-rays. So we take a full fine set of x-rays to see exactly what's happening with your structure mm -hmm. and how it's actually affecting your function. And you could do that all in the office. And we do that all in the office okay. that day. And then we normally invite people back to go over their results and explain that to them in detail any sort of, um, we explain to them what would be needed with their care, what they can actually do for themselves, and, mm -hmm. and just set them up for a brighter future and then figure out where they go from there. And with, you know, a chiropractor or some of the other, other services you provide, I know it depends on the patient, but what's the average of how many times they're coming per week? And like I said, I know it depends on the patient, but what's normally the average? We have patients that start, um, if they have more acute issues going on, mm -hmm. that might come daily for a week okay. or two, okay. based on how much pain they're in, right. how much of a crisis their body might be going through at that mm -hmm. moment. We have patients that start at three times a week. You know, it just depends on what's going on with them. Um, I've been there, again, since 99, so over <laughs> 16 years. And I have patients that have been coming for wellness adjustments once a week or once every two weeks the whole 16 years. And so for some people that's, you know, different. They're like, right. wow, that's a lot. But they don't, you know, once a patient gets under care and they see how much healthier and how much better their body functions, mm -hmm. to them it makes much more sense to continue to maintain that than it right. does to go back to where they were. Exactly. So, you know, the patient chooses how often they want to come. We don't force anyone to come. Right. <laughs> <laughs> we're not holding anybody captive. Yeah. You know, that is the patient's choice. We're obviously going to give them our best recommendations. You know, I have three children that have been getting adjusted since birth, and I know Dr. Mo okay. is going to talk a little bit about our pediatric and pregnancy right. work, um, but they've been getting adjusted since birth. The birth process itself can be somewhat traumatic, mm -hmm. you know, just the pulling and tugging and right. twisting. Uh, I check my kids. Or I don't actually, I actually have one of them do it now. It's better to have somebody besides mm -hmm. mom. <laughs> um, check the kids once a week just to make sure that their spine and nervous system is healthy. They don't always need to get adjusted. Mm -hmm. It just depends on what's going on. Um, with children, the adjustments are very low force. I mean, mm -hmm. it's nothing. If, if anybody's been adjusted and they wonder, how do you do that with a baby? Right. It's, it's different. It's like massage weight pressure. Mm -hmm. um, but we definitely love to see people fully expressing health from birth till you know, however, however old they live. I know. Um, I think our oldest patient right now is 102, I think. Wow. Um, we have several in their 90s that are still fully driving, very active, Point and we off. love mm -hmm. to see that. Like, yes. that, like that, is, that is what life is. It's mm -hmm. fully living. You know, we want to see that and help people express their God-given potential. So that's, that's obviously kind awesome. of our mission. Yes. <laughs> yeah. We'll talk a little bit more about kind of what sets you aside from okay. um, other health facilities in Brunswick County. But tell me a little bit about the services that you can provide um, here in Brunswick County. I'll open that up to whoever. Mm -hmm. So obviously, you know, adjusting. Right. And so we also give very specific exercises for those patients mm -hmm. on what they can do for their future because we're not just interested in helping them get better for now. We want to educate them on how they can stay better and continually improve. 
We also offer many classes. We do smoothie classes, mm -hmm. we do stretch classes, we've done a purification workshop to just help people work better, mm -hmm. um, lose some weight in the process, which is awesome. We do a ladies night, which is just getting the community together and just letting them experience more health items and just have a night out. Um, we do all sorts of health classes throughout the year and we have various things going on in the month. We also like to do a meal planning class because obviously day to day we're all busy and so okay. it's hard to actually, we think it's hard to eat healthy because right. we just don't know what to do. Yes. And so we just want to detail it out and make it super, super simple so that it's easy to stay on the right path. Mm -hmm. Nobody's perfect but we want to just strive right. to be better. So as somebody, I love that class, so I want to touch on that just a little bit. I was unable to go to the one that you had last time but looking forward to going to the next one. But as an event planner and as somebody that works at the chamber that has a super busy schedule, how is that going to help me in my lifestyle with that class that you were just talking about? Well, it makes things easy because, you know, you can actually just put together a plan, prepare, which is usually where most people fall down, mm -hmm. is they just don't prepare enough for their meals, and right. so they're grabbing something quick and easy. Okay. And so it's allowing you to just know what you're going to prepare for the week, planning it out in a menu, and mm -hmm. then actually just making an easy shopping list, getting it done over the weekend so you're prepared for the week. That way your busy lifestyle doesn't get in your way. That's wonderful. So excited on that yeah. one. Dr. Brent says it best. He always <laughs> tells our patients, life gets in the way. Yes. So you got to prepare. It does. But I'm always constantly picking up bad food because I don't have time right. to cook yes. or whatever. So, so I that's think, what we're trying to avoid. Yes. I think yeah. our viewers would really like that class. And um, we'll talk about it a little later of maybe when you'll have your next class. Yep. But um, at Family First, what do you think, what are some things that sets you aside from other health facilities in Brunswick County? One thing, I'll, I'll start a little bit about this. I mean, since I opened Family First, the number one priority is to make sure that every patient is, is, is treated like a champion. You know, we want every patient to feel special mm -hmm. because they are. And we realize they have a choice on where they receive their care. And right. so we want them to realize that we value the fact that they've chosen us. And we don't take that for granted. Um, we genuinely love and care for every patient that walks through the doors. They become part of our family mm -hmm. at Family yeah. First. Um, and we feel that way. I mean, we often attend birthday parties and graduations and weddings and, you know, and it's, this, is, this is part, I mean, we're part of their family, we're part of their life. You know, your health is a very personal thing. Mm -hmm. And so we definitely feel like you have to connect. You have to be willing to listen. You know, we listen to what our patients need. We're there for them. And, you know, and we want to be along with them. Like Dr. Brent said, we want to give them things they can also do outside of being with right. us to stay healthy and to keep healthy. And that's important. So giving 100%, you know, customer service, making sure that they feel valued and loved, that's definitely a priority and a commitment in our, with our whole team. Absolutely. Yeah. Anything else you want to add to that? Um, you know, that's first and foremost, you know, uh, anybody that walks through the door, it, it is them and them first, you know, no matter what's going on, it, they're, they're choosing to come and, and get their health taken care of at our office and it is our job to, mm -hmm. you know, show them love, show them, um, you know, even if they didn't need an adjustment that day, maybe they needed, you know, a smile or a hug mm -hmm. or just someone to listen, you know, because, you know, life is so hard on, on our and in society these yes. days and so you know for us to to be a part of them mm -hmm. and in their life in that manner um, is our, our number one goal you know mm -hmm. our mission in at Family First is to educate and adjust as many families as possible right. towards that optimum health um, through chiropractic care mm -hmm. and that's just our vessel that we use to touch people's lives in that way. I think another thing that really sets you all aside is you're so involved in the community. As a chamber member, we're always looking for your events um, in Brunswick County, and we try to be there as much as we can. But um, touch just for a few seconds on some of the events that you do. I know you've talked about them, but some of the events that are coming up that you do. Well, one I know that we have coming up in November is another meal planning class. The holidays always get all of us. Yes. <laughs> There's a lot more temptations all around mm -hmm. and also just the hustle and bustle of all the parties and get togethers. And so planning is essential. You know, not only like Dr. Brent mentioned, you know, making sure we are prepared and thinking ahead of time, but also how to be as cost effective as possible, turning meals into other meals. And right. so that class we will have in November. Um, and so definitely they can check the website and we'll get that Absolutely. information later. Um, we also do our ladies event every, it's usually in April. April. Um, every April we have a ladies mm -hmm. night. Again, Dr. Brent touched on that. Mm -hmm. Just an opportunity for ladies to have a night out. Yes. Um, we pamper everyone. We have lots of fun, you know, food and vendors and just, a, again, a time to relax and to find out different options of, of different healthy things they can do for themselves. Okay. So that's another big event. Anything else you want to mention? 
stretch classes. We do those pretty much every month, so okay. we'll be having those. Just keep an eye out. I need to come to one of those. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Everyone needs to so yes. yes, absolutely. Well, I think we have gotten some great information yeah. from y'all, so I really appreciate you being on the show. Um, if you, if we've got somebody that's interested in coming to see y'all, can you share, Dr. Brent, um, your contact information? Absolutely. First, you can visit us at our website. That's okay. www.family1 chiropractic.net. Okay. You can also find us on Facebook. Just do a search for Family First Health Center. Our phone number is 910-755-5483. Okay. And we're located at 4911 Bridgers Road. We're just okay. right across from Autumn Care. Okay. Well, thank you again for being thank on the you. show. Thank Family you First. Thank, thank, you. Thank, you. thank you. We'll be right back. Welcome our third guest on the show today, Dick Tinsley with McLeod Seacoast. Thank you so much for being on my show today. Thank you for having me. Tell us a little bit about your title at McLeod and how you got started with this company. Um, I've been with McLeod for uh, almost 20 years now, and I am the administrator of McLeod Seacoast. Okay. I'm a senior vice president for McLeod Health. Okay. And I've uh, been in healthcare longer than this, but I was with other companies prior. Uh, really enjoy my time with McLeod and uh, looking forward to ending my career at, at McLeod. Wonderful. Tell us a little bit about McLeod if, any, if our viewers don't know what that is. McLeod uh, uh, Health started in 1906 in Florence, South Carolina. Okay. And it was Dr. F.H. McLeod started it uh, as a small hospital kind of in his home. Hmm. Uh, and then he, he developed that into what was known as McLeod Infirmary. And then in about the 1970s, they became a regional medical center in South Carolina to provide uh, uh, specialized health care to what is referred to in South Carolina as the PD region. Okay. Uh, but since then, we've expanded out. We've um, added a lot of new services, yes. a lot of new locations. We now have six locations, uh, uh, mostly in South Carolina, mm -hmm. but we have uh, uh, physician practices in about 11 counties and two of those are in North Carolina. Wow. And um, I have been to your new location, um, pretty close to us in Sunset Beach. Um, great facility. We're very excited that, about that being in Brunswick County. Um, so I wanted to mention that. But today we're going to focus on your location in Little River, South Carolina. So let's talk about that. Um, behind us we have kind of the renovations that you're going to do later on. So let's talk about that a little bit. Tell me about some of the new stuff that we're going to see in the next couple years at this location. Well, thank you. We, we, we're planning to uh, really expand our location at the Little River uh, Hospital. Uh, we've got 50 beds now. We'll be going to 105 beds there. Okay. Uh, we have four operating rooms right now. We're going to 10 operating rooms. Wow. We started out with 12 uh, ED uh, exam rooms, mm -hmm. and we're going to have about 30 in the new, in the new facility. Uh, we're, we're really expanding our surgical capability. Mm -hmm. uh, our, uh, our intensive care, uh, medical capability, mm -hmm. and our ability to deal with emergencies. Wow. So tell us a little bit about kind of where everything is in this picture so our viewers can kind of watch. It's in the works now, but I'd like for them when they go to South Carolina to kind of know where everything is located. So tell me a little bit about the picture right here. Okay. This is located at, um, at Highway 9, uh, 4000 Highway 9 East in uh, Little River, South Carolina. It's uh, really right before you get to 17. Mm -hmm. um, and so what you see now is, uh, is a pretty plain looking building that started out as doctor's offices and an ambulatory surgery center. We built uh, 50 beds on the back of it probably uh, six or seven years ago before I got here. Uh, but then we're adding all the beds, we're moving all the inpatient beds to the front we're going to go uh, with 105 at, at front. We're going to have a capability to expand uh, another floor that will be vacant that we'll be building that we could add 36 more beds uh, okay. without much trouble. Uh, we're relocating our, our obst obstetrical services from Loris to Little River, and that will be there. Uh, we're adding uh, a lot more capability in surgery. Uh, we've recruited about 25 or 30 physicians since I've been there. We're still planning on recruiting probably about 40 or 50 more. Wow. A lot of primary care. Mm -hmm. We did a survey when we got here of uh, Southern Brunswick County uh, 
and uh, Northern O'Ree County, mm -hmm. and we're about 75 primary care physicians short of what this area needs. Wow. Tell me a little bit about, um, obviously there's a lot of health facilities in Brunswick County and the surrounding areas, but what sets McLeod aside from every other health facility, do you think, in your opinion? Well, it's, it's companies can have uh, three strategies. Okay. You can either uh, be a low-cost provider, mm -hmm. um, like Walmart, or you could be a niche provider, like mm -hmm. Maserati, and only mm -hmm. sell to the, to the people in your niche. Uh, or the third strategy is you can differentiate your product or service. And we've chosen to differentiate our product or service based on quality. We started our quality journey uh, in the early 90s before anybody was really talking about it. Mm -hmm. So we have uh, scientific methods that improve our quality. Uh, we've, we've won a lot of awards. Um, we've done a lot of improvements since I've been here. And we've built a structure that supports that work. And so that's what makes us different. And, and we're a not-for-profit healthcare facility. Um, we don't manage for the next month or next quarter. We take a long view and with improving the quality of our care as our primary focus. That's what differentiates us. Um, we are doing a lot in the community right now. You have a lot of events going on. Um, I know you will be at the Ocean Isle Beach Run this month, so we're excited mm -hmm. to see you there. So we appreciate all that you do in the community and with the Chamber. Um, so we are looking forward to seeing this facility improve and, and all the new renovations. So I'm excited for that. Um, I'm always telling somebody in the community about McLeod. So thank you for being on the show today. Um, if our viewers want to go see this new facility or the facility in Brunswick County, tell them a little bit about the address and, and where they can find some information. Well, the uh, address of the hospital is 4000 Highway 9 East okay. in Little River, South Carolina. Um, I could tell you how to get to the, uh, <laughs> the seacoast, to, to, the, um, to the Sunset Beach yes. office. But I don't know the exact address. That's okay. But Dr. Ruth Whelan it runs that uh, operation there. Uh, we've we got a really nice building. We've been here before, uh, but we've moved into a better building, and we're going to be able to expand our services Wonderful. there. And we'll be adding other physicians and providers in that location. Wonderful. And we're also looking at other locations in, in Brunswick County. Well, we're excited to, to see what's next. What is the website of McLeod Seacoast? Uh, McLeodSeacoast.org okay. or McLeodHealth.org. Okay. I think uh, they'll take you to the same place. You can see what we're doing. We have uh, a lot of YouTube videos uh, on, on the internet, and, and we're always doing something fun and, right. and different. And we enjoy being in Brunswick County. I, I've enjoyed getting to know the people up here, attending some of the events up here. We were just talking about the um, Oyster Festival and, and some of the <laughs> runs that we're doing. And, um, it's it's just a pleasure to come up here and and I can I can see why this is one of the fastest growing communities in the country. Absolutely, absolutely. Well, again, thank you so much for being on our show today and we look forward to seeing you again. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you. We'll be right back. I hope you enjoyed our show today. We learned a lot of great information on the health facilities in Brunswick County and the surrounding areas. I would like to thank Banana Republic at Tanger Outlets Highway 17 Myrtle Beach and Dane Delane Salon Studio at Ocean Isle Beach for my wardrobe and my makeup and hair. Thank you and please make sure to check out the Chamber calendar for events at BrunswickCountyChamber.org or call us at the office 910-754-6644. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you next month. Megan's Wardrobe, courtesy of Banana Republic at Tango Outlets in Myrtle Beach, and hair by Dane Delane Salon Studio in Ocean Isle Beach. Chamber Highlight Set is provided by Summer Home Furniture, located on Express Drive in Shalote. Stop by today to outfit your home in style. Want to live a Tanger inspired life? Find your style with brands you'll love at exceptional savings. That's Tanger Outlets.
Let Tanger style your life for less. Shop inspired. Shop for style. Shop for life at Tanger Outlets.